Hi, I'm Brett. Today we've got a video update on the Subaru BRZ Toyota 86 uh, Scion FRS if in the US, and we all know these models are pretty common around the world. This is our trusty R&D car. The uh, oldest BRZ in Australia, actually, was the first one delivered many, many years ago. Um, you've probably seen it on our channel many times with all sorts of vehicle updates and modifications. And more recently, we've been um, testing some new parts, and the part that I've got in my hand is um, the latest part developed by uh, Josh Coote from MCA, and it is a bracket to change the rear geometry on the suspension of the car to increase its rear end grip. Now, you know uh, MCA are well known for their success at uh, well, Time Attack here in Sydney. What you may not know is um, the, uh, Josh's father, Murray Coote, has been around for a very long time, very successful Australian Rally Championship, a hell of a lot of um, experience in suspension geometry and setup. And um, uh, out of uh, completely separate left field, my uh, EK4 Honda Civic Rally car has had um, their shock absorbers in it since 1996. So it gives you a bit of an idea of how long these people have been around for. But I digress. This thing is something that is going to be really interesting to test. We've been told that it dramatically improves the rear end grip because we know Subaru uses a common platform across their model range and this suspension layout is very similar um, to the Impreza platform with the lower control arm. Obviously this is a replacement test modified one from Whiteline. Um, the upper sway bar, um, the front toe control arm and the upper wishbone because this was the suspension change on this platform around 2008, 2009. And one of the things that uh, Josh and his team at MCA come across is to increase the grip at the rear end of the car was to change the suspension pickup point in here by lowering it um, as compared to the original factory one, which you can see up here. So this particular part bolts up in place there and lowers the pivot of that arm to change the grip in the rear end of the car. Now, if you've ever driven one of these cars, you'll know they're a little bit twitchy in the rear end. They're a very fun car to drive, but sometimes when you start putting a bit more grunt into these cars, it does make them a little bit nervous and makes them a little bit more uh, unfriendly to drive. Um, of course, if you increase your spring and shock rates, some of these other things transfer the uh, NVH and make the car a completely different car to drive. And of course, you can see in the rear end of our car, we've got the um, MCA Reds, which have been in there for quite some time as well and we fitted them quite a while ago and they're a fantastic alternative to a shock absorber range on this particular model. So this particular part um, we uh, will be fitting and, and doing a bit more road testing. I'll update you um, in the next couple of weeks with some more information on my seat of the pants um, response from a drivability point of view because I regularly drive this car to and from work. It's got our turbo kit in it and um, so I've got a pretty good idea of what it's like driving around quarters just on suburban streets because even with the bigger tyres um, and the OZ wheels and the Kumos on the back, these cars do still have a limited grip to take advantage of. And of course, if you drive an original factory standard one, they come with a lot narrower tyres. They've um, got less rear end grip to make them a little bit different again. So if you're looking for more technical information on this particular part, you can do a search on the MRT website. Just punch in um, to the search command at the top of our website, MCA. You'll find this part as well as a whole range of MCA shock absorbers for a whole range of cars or of course you can put in the search command um, your year make and model and then find a whole lot of parts um, combined together as one complete package. It's a pretty powerful update to our website that we're pretty proud of. But for now wherever you are in the world, I'm Brett Middleton, I'll update you again soon. Bye for now.